Converge or diverge, sigma for n goes from 1 to infinity, n squared plus 1 over n to the third power plus 1. As we can see, if we ignore the plus 1 plus 1, we can just look at n to the second power over n to the third power, and we can reduce that to 1 over n. And we know sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n, it diverges, right? So that's something that we know right away. Therefore, let's draw some connections by making some comparison. And let me tell you, in this case, both versions work. You can use the limit comparison test, or you can use the direct comparison test. Up to you. I will show you first with the limit comparison test. And this is how it goes. We will first put down the things that we know first, which is sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity. And then let me just write this down in details. We look at the n square over n to a third power, which is this. And then this is going to be sigma for n goes from 1 to infinity. That's 1 over n. And we know this is the harmonic series. And we know harmonic series diverges. Right? And now, for the limit comparison test, we are going to check the limit. Check the limit as n goes to infinity. And then we'll put this over that. And let me put this down right here. n squared plus 1 over n to the third power plus 1 over 1 over n. Okay? Right. So this is going to be, we can do some algebra first. This is the top n squared plus 1, and then put down over n third power plus 1 over 1 over n, which is the same as multiplying by n over 1. And as you can see, of course, we can distribute this n into this parentheses, right? And then you will get, we will get, everybody will get n to the third power plus n over n to the third power plus 1. And now, as n goes to infinity, this expression, we just care about n to the third power on the top. The plus n doesn't matter. On the denominator, this right here, we only care about the n to the third power. The plus 1 doesn't matter. So we can say this right here approaches to n to the third power over n to the third power, which is, of course, approaching to 1. And now, can we use this limit and then draw some conclusion? Yes. When we are doing the limit comparison test, when we get a finite value for the limit, make sure this is not zero, make sure this is not infinity. This is one, it's good, which is greater than zero. When we have this situation, this means this and that, they have the same conclusion. This diverges, that also diverges. So we can write down the conclusion here. Conclusion, the original. Sigma, when n goes from one to infinity, n squared plus 1 over n to the third power plus 1 also diverges, okay? They always have the same conclusion. This one diverges, this one also diverges because we have the nice number for the limit. This also diverges, and that's quote, we use the limit comparison test. So by the limit comparison test, which sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n. That's it. Now I'm going to show you how to use the direct comparison test to show that this is the divergent. We still have to put down the harmonic series diverges, and then instead of checking limit, for the direct comparison test, we have to check inequality to see which one's bigger than the other, and then be sure you set up the inequality correctly. Here we go. We are going to check, and then as a good habit, let me just put on the one that we're trying to do on the left hand side. So we have the sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, and then we have the n squared plus 1 over n to the third power plus 1. And we will put down the one that we know on the right-hand side. So we have the sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n. This is what we know. And this is a divergent. Divergent is just like positive infinity. If we can show that this is bigger than infinity, then we can conclude that this is also well, divergent, right? Because it has to be a bigger size infinity. So I hope to show this is bigger than or equal to that. And I don't know yet, so let's put down a question mark. Right, so to work this out, we'll just look at the expression n squared plus 1 over n to the third power plus 1. Is this bigger than or equal to 1 over n for 
n is greater than or equal to 1 because we just care about 1 to infinity, right? First, make sure that all the expression right here is positive, and they are. So what we can do is cross multiply. So if when we do n times that, we get n to the third power plus n times 1, which is n. And then I want to see if this is bigger than or equal to n to the third power plus 1 times 1, which is the n to the third power plus 1. All right, both sides have n to the third power, right? So of course, this and that can be canceled. And then we are talking about n greater than or equal to 1. Is this true or not? Well, just like what we said right here, right? So it has to be true, of course. This is good. Because this is a true inequality, we can draw a conclusion. They have the same conclusion. Right, so here we'll just put down the conclusion. Once again, we'll write down the original, which is the sigma. Let me just indicate it right here. Sigma where n goes from 1 to infinity. n squared plus 1 over n to the third power plus 1. This also diverges, right? Because they have the same conclusion. This one diverges, and then this one's bigger than that, so it diverges as well. It also diverges, and this time we use the direct comparison test. So we'll say by the direct comparison test, which sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n. So I've shown you guys the limit comparison test and also the direct comparison test, right? Comment down below and let me know which one do you guys like better. That's it.